biggest questions that we get on a daily basis or weekly basis, I'll probably say daily basis, is how many leads do we need to be ordering? Um, what is the magic number? I need to make X amount of money every year. And what I tell people is I say, you got to start with the math first. And I mean, I was no smart kid when it comes to math, but I do know what five plus five is and one plus one and five times five. The point is, is you got to figure out what your number is and then work backwards. So for example, you know, when I was out in the field working and still training with agents, I tell them, you know, you got to have X amount of people to see a week. If you're not seeing nobody, then you're not making any money. We're about to start a road show coming up in the next few weeks, or actually next week, excuse me. And we're really gonna talk about and dive in to how to have your best year yet. And the way that we feel that a lot of agents can have the best year is you gotta get in front of people. You got to get off your butt and get out there and work. And people are not gonna call you unless you got a big renewal base, a referral base, and you got a lot of ads, that, however it is you're doing, but whatever it is you're doing to get people coming in to make, to make them call you. But one of the main things that you need to be doing is doing direct mail. A lot of people say, well, you know, I think direct mail is dead. Uh, I think, you know, social media, um, um, Facebook, well, that is social media, or whatever it is, getting involved in the community. Yes, all that works, and all that is great, and I hope you're doing that. But direct mail still today is as powerful and as strong as it was 20 years ago. You have got to be dropping mail. So when I tell agents each and every week, the best way to get the amount of money you need every year is you just gotta drop the mail to get those results. On average, if you're dropping final expense leads, you're paying about 450 per thousand, unless you're doing the per lead deal. But we're gonna just say a simple thousand piece mail drop. So a thousand piece mail drop runs somewhere between 450 and 480. Drop that in the community. So you get somewhere between eight to 10, I mean, excuse me, 0.8 to 1% return to a one and a half percent return. So somewhere along the way, depending on the market you're in, you'll get somewhere between eight to 15 leads. You still got your 450 invested, so eight to 15 leads. So once you get those eight to 15 leads back, you're gonna go work them. Let's say worst case scenario, you close three of those sales with an average premium of, uh, I don't know, let's say $500. Uh, a year, if you're at a, whatever your commission level is, we'll just use a, a easy math, 100% contract with a nine month advance, you're gonna make about 450 to $500, somewhere around there. I mean, excuse me, let me back up. If you close, yeah, per sale, times three sales, let's say somewhere between uh, 12 to $1,500 is your commission. Gross, minus your 450, you're at 800 something dollars, Eight, 800 a week, grows to a thousand a week times 52 weeks or somewhere between 48,000 to 52,000 dollars a year that's your simple math thousand piece mail drop 450 per thousand to 480 depending on where you're at you get a one at point eight to one and a half percent return so you're looking between eight to 15 leads back let's say worst case scenario you close three i average 450 to 500 dollars commission somewhere between 12 to 1500 dollars minus your lead cost Forty-eight to $52,000 a year. Take that and then build on to what you need to do to make six figures. We have agents coming right out the back door, 12 months into the business, they're making anywhere between seventy-five dollars to $80,000. Why? Because they're doing the math. You have got to invest in yourself. We tell people, and we've said this for years, we feel it's kind of like Chick-fil-A effect. You know, before they changed the whole franchise model with Chick-fil-A, it cost you $5,000 to get in to become a, uh, to have be a store owner. and same as the insurance business. The biggest thing that kills me is people want to become an entrepreneur, self-employed or whatever you want to call us, but they don't want to make an investment in themselves. Nobody starts a business, a successful business I should say, and stay in the business for a long time and continue to be successful without making some kind of investment in themselves. And the best way to do that is come up with a little money, <clears throat> excuse me, $5,000 has always been uh, the amount of money that you need, in my opinion, and that's what we tell new agents coming on board and it has worked for so many agents over the years. So I say all that to say to get to the point is this year, as we're the first three weeks into 2020, what are you doing to grow your business to the next level? How many people are you seeing on a weekly basis? How many people are you seeing daily? What products are you selling? Are you offering enough products? Are you getting leads through Facebook? Are you getting leads through, um, I don't know, networking events? Are you going to senior communities, are you volunteering, are you doing, whatever it is you're doing, is that amount of flow gonna be able to flow you financially? 
So I hope this helps a little bit. Again, you can call our office, 864-231-0808, and we can give you as much information about all our lead sources and every opportunity that we have for you to have the best year yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more content, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.